and I was lucky enough last year to participate. National Science Foundation had a great research project in upstate New York. We can go to the film here actually studying lake effect snow events with these Doppler radars on wheels. These you typically see studying tornadoes. They got a lot of information from this and this is really going to help us with being able to more accurately predict these events. Now let's take a quick look here at how lake effect snows develop and this is a very very interesting concept here. Essentially it's pretty simple. You're moving cold air across the warm waters of the Great Lakes here. That develops instability. A lot of moisture and heat goes up into that air mass and as it gets into to the air mass, it condenses out into snowflakes as it gets to the downwind shore here, and eventually we end up with a snowstorm. But I'll tell you, the scale that this occurs on is really something. The wind direction is what really promotes how the snow bands are going to develop and where they develop. Those winds moving across the lake will direct those bands, as we see here, down to the southeast corner of the lake here, and they move just downstream here across all the populated regions, in this case of upstate New York, off of Lake Ontario. And again, we talked about how yeah, just how localized these are. This picture is worth a thousand words here, guys. This is the city of Buffalo, and I've gone through these before. You literally are seeing a wall of snow. This is the downtown part of the city right here, the north side and the south side. This is a band of lake effect snow. Can you imagine seeing this where your relatives on the south side of the city are under three feet of snow, while to the north of the city, we're sitting under sunny skies and green grass.